overflows. Awareness, the only medicine. In the process of transformation, it is not important how articulate you are, how well learned you are. The foundation of the process of transformation is based on trust. How much, and this is also important in the process of re relating, relationship, how much you can trust the person or how much the person can trust you. Trust is the basis of any relation, way of relating and process of transformation. Awareness is the state of no mind. Method is awareness. Illnesses are myriad and their nature too is varied. But there is only one health. The quality of health is one. Health happens only one way and it is always same. Whether I am healthy or you are healthy, the feel of health is the same. Your expression may be different. Diseases are millions, wrongs are many, but the right key that unlocks the door, the master key is only one. There may be many locks, but the master key is one. And rather than cutting the branches and pruning the leaves, cut the very root. There are many people who go on pruning the leaves and cutting the branches. These people are moralists. When problem comes in one relation, we cut the we prune the branches and prune the leaves and cut the branches. A moralist cannot be spiritual. A moral person is a little bit stupid. He is stupid in the sense that he thinks that by cutting the leaves he is going to destroy the tree. He is not going to destroy the tree and this is not the way. You cut one leaf, the tree will respond with three leaves instead. The foliage will become thicker. That's why beginning of the winter season, we prune the rose plant and after pruning, the rose plant gets thicker and brings a better foliage. You cut one branch and the tree will pour its sap and juice into another branch and the other branch will become thicker and bigger. This is the experience of each one of us who know little bit about gardening. Why is it important to prune the trees at the time of beginning of the winter and why during autumn all leaves fall. It is the natural way of pruning. This is what happens in your life. Somebody is against sex so he represses sex and cuts that branch. Now the whole energy becomes anger. You will find stories in scriptures about the persons who cut off that branch and they become all anger. It is bound to happen. You cannot destroy any energy ever. It is not possible in the very nature of things. Energy can only be transformed but never destroyed. And I have never asked you to destroy the energy instead. Put it into creative channels so that it can be transformed. If you close one outlet, the energy will start flowing from another. 
if you close the front door then from the back door it will start flowing and from back door it is more dangerous because it makes you a hypocrite your life becomes a double standard you start living in a dual way you say one thing and do another this is not the way of trust you show one thing and you are another you become more and more split my emphasis is also exactly the same as that of atisha the tibetan buddhist master you come to me with a thousand and one problems and my answer is always the same if you come with anger i say be aware of it if you come with greed i say be aware of it if you come with lust again be aware of it is the way awareness cuts the very root it is only it is the only remedy what is the root root is unawareness plant has its root root grows in darkness if you want to cut the plant you have to cut the root so if you want to cut the tree of your ignorance tree of your anger lust or anything you have to cut the root that is unawareness one can be angry only if he is unaware and you will know it with your own experience whenever anger came to you or dominated you there was unawareness try to be angry and aware together you will find it almost impossible not almost you will find it impossible you will either be aware or unaware and when you are aware then anger will not be found anywhere as if it has disappeared or you may be angry and awareness will disappear up to now nobody has been able to manage both together and i do not think you can prove the exception try it it is possible you may think both are happening but if you minutely watch you will find when awareness is there anger is not and when anger is there awareness is not unawareness is the root of all illness and problems that you face in life on a day to day basis awareness is the only medicine but remember one method is enough to correct all wrongs one method is enough to correct all wrongs that method is the method of awareness be aware of whatsoever is happening within and without you and how will you know that you have attained it how would you know that you have attained it awareness is something inner it is so deep that nobody can see it is still you become aware everybody who has a little intelligence who has eyes to see will become aware of it if you become aware everybody who has a little intelligence and who has the eyes to see will become aware of it remember as awareness happens at the inner core as the 
awareness happens or dawns at the inner core compassion starts radiating love starts overflowing in myriad ways and that is the only criteria way to know that you are becoming more and more aware and a person who is aware compassion flows out of him like the fragrance of the flower so when the beauty and the fragrance of the flower fills the atmosphere the garden it means in a way flower has blossomed flower has become aware or flower has become enlightened this word you have not heard before this the aura of fragrance the aura of beauty that fills the atmosphere of the garden symbolizes the flower has blossomed it has become enlightened it is aware now that's why its fragrance and beauty is not for any single or special person it is for anyone who wants to imbibe it who wants to imbibe the beauty and the fragrance of the flower so a buddha is the flower that has blossomed and then compassion and love flows out of him as its fragrance naturally fragrance of awareness you will realize why things are changing in a near close or far environment around you it is because the seed of awareness is growing within you and because of that you see the fragrance and beauty is spreading atisha says awareness is within and compassion is on the outside compassion is the outer side of awareness and the the exterior of awareness and awareness is your in innerness your subjectivity awareness is your subjectivity and compassion that flows out of you it is the outer dimension of it enough for now